Hey everybody, Striders here with another pre-game stats breakdown. For the red team, we have Nidalee, Galio, Ezreal, Fiddlesticks, and Tarek, versus the blue team, who has Lee Sin, Blitzcrank, Jace, Kale, and Corky. Starting off at the top lane, we have Nidalee versus the Jace. Uh, Nidalee mains top lane, while Jace mains jungle. This is going to give Nidalee uh, an innate advantage in the lane, just because she's familiar with it. She also has played over 320 games with Nidalee at a 59% win ratio, which is a lot of games and a really good win ratio. Uh, Jace has only been played by this person 14 times with a 57% win ratio, so I'm going to go ahead and give the top lane to the red team just based off stats. And then if we take a look at mid lane, we have Galio versus Kale. Uh, I think Kale's pretty strong, but she has uh, issues. And with Galio, since he can poke from really far away and also farm really easily, uh, he may have an advantage. Galio also mains caster, while Kale mains support. So it's going to give Galio a little bit more familiarization with that particular, uh, with that particular champion in that lane. So Galio has been played by this person seven times with an 85% win ratio. Which isn't a lot of games played, uh, but Kale's been played by this person almost 50 times at the 58% win ratio. Uh, it, I think Kale definitely has a little bit of an advantage since Galio typically builds MR instead of armor, but he does still build armor, and he do, he is so really tanky, he can farm from really far away, and uh, I think he's going to be really good in this game. So I'm going to go ahead and give the middle lane to the red team as well. And if we take a look at the junglers, we have Fiddlesticks versus Lee Sin. And that is going to be an interesting matchup. Fiddlesticks mains top while Lee Sin mains jungle. This is going to give Lee Sin a huge advantage. And I think Lee Sin, I mean, Lee Sin does have a much better lane presence. But if Fiddlesticks can get a fear off on somebody, that's almost a guaranteed kill. Uh, at least burning of a flash really easily, depending on who uh, you're ganking for, of course. But uh, it should be pretty interesting to see how that turns out. I think Lee Sin will have the advantage in the long run just because um, he is Lee Sin and he's going to do really, really well. Uh, anytime Fiddlesticks Crow Storms, he can just get kicked out of the fight by the Lee Sin. Uh, so I th I'm going to go ahead and give the jungle to the blue team. And if we take a look at the bot lane, we're going to have Ezreal and Tarek versus Corky and Blitzcrank. So playing Ezreal against Blitzcrank is pretty typical since you can get away from his rocket grab. Um, Ezreal mains AD carry while Corky mains caster, uh, so this will give Ezreal quite a bit an advantage. And that, and he's also played Ezreal over 235 times in ranked at a 56% win ratio. When Corky's only been played by this person uh, about 40 or sorry 35 times with a 55% win ratio. Uh, I. Th I think just based off that, I'm going to have to give the bottom lane to the red team as well. Uh, but then if you factor in Tarek and Blitzcrank, I think anytime Blitzcrank grabs anybody, either Ezreal's going to be able to have it, or if he gets Tarek, Tarek's just going to throw a stun out on Corky, and there's nothing they're going to be able to do about it. Uh, so overall, I really think that red team will come out ahead on this. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into the game and see what happens. Hey everybody, Strider's back with another daily high elo casting, and I'm actually guest co-casting with Eskimo. this guy. That's Eskimo Rob. I'm back. I'm ready for more. I'm being attacked by Strider's cats who are giving me allergies. <laughs> so this is going to be the best casting. Every all... <laughs> everybody loves the cats. You're all going to love it. <laughs> if you start having a sneezing panic attack thing, I'm going to finish the cast and then take you to the hospital. That's awesome, man. <laughs> That's friendship. So anyhow, let's take a look at the teams. <laughs> there are no teams. Everybody's a loser. <laughs> <laughs> Blue team looking like Blitz and Corky bottom lane. Kale mid, perhaps? I like NK Inc. And Bobkin. The, the Lee Sin and the Jace. They're mm -hmm. some of my favorite players. Just like the way they play, and they're they're a little weird. Fizz Khalifa, I really like his name, but I, I don't know. He's <laughs> he's an interesting player. I don't think I've ever seen him do good in a game, like have a positive KDA. It's pretty bad. I don't know if that's just I'm catching him on all of his off games, but it's interesting. <laughs> so, so we're seeing Galio mid again. It's been yeah, a while. I have a, yeah, it's been a really long time. I don't know really why he fell out of favor. Did he get nerfed? He got he got nerfed, and it's always hard to tell whether or not a character or champion is 
is actually good or bad because people will try and play them like they were before the nerf. They won't get quite the same results, and as a result, conclude that they're terrible. Yeah. And then, even without a single buff, will end up falling back into favor later on. Yeah, because they know he's still really strong. He's a really good champion, especially with a fiddlesticks. So that could be terrifying. That mm -hmm. ultimate combo is just going to absolutely rip apart through people. Well, rip, indeed. rip, 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 rip. Got boots and pots and boots and pots. And boots and pots, boots and mana pot. Oh boy. Unbelievable. I don't believe it. Ooh, I like the little change they made to the spectator menu so you can compare the champions easier. I do as well. I actually have a method. Uh. I put the Smash. jungler right between the top lane and the mid lane, so you can compare what they're doing against that. And then I put the supports kind of at the bottom-ish, but not the very bottom, the second to the bottom. That's pretty cool. Um, because they're not really all that important. You know, you don't really compare their CS. You look at their items, but then you look at the AD carries a lot. So it's nice having them just right at the bottom. Um, right on, man. Jungling. It's looking like a pretty passive setup at the start. Both teams looking for... I'm assuming Kale's going mid. Defensive start. That would make sense, kind of. I don't know if Jace will go mid, though. 30 seconds into well, minions. actually, I lied. It looks like we've got the Lee Sin invade onto the Fiddlesticks red, and it's entirely possible... No, oh, are they going to pick up the Nidalee? Oh. Nidalee's making the smart move and choosing to go around, but she's hanging out there a little dangerously. They know they can't kill her without any... Really hard CC though. Oh, the hips crank. crank there, but he's a little bit lagging behind. Yeah. Unfortunate for them. And now Blitzcrank's just going to ward this bush, and that's a really great bush to work, so they're going to know exactly Minions where Fiddle Six is at pretty much all times in this jungle. So they'll know uh, if he's going to gank right away, or if he's going to counter jungle right away, or if he's just going to do wraiths and then red. Uh, actually, he's not going to do wraiths at all because they're taking it. He's legit. Happy birthday! That and I sense. guess they're gonna steal his red then. Do you think Lee is gonna run with his red to pick it up so Fiddle can't counter grab it? I don't or do think, you think he's gonna run to his blue. Fiddle's an extremely dangerous counter jungler. You don't wanna counter jungle with Fiddle Six just because he's uh, he's so squishy, he could easily get picked up. I mean Lee Sin's one of the best bliss in the jungle. Uh, not really many people can handle him one versus one. Especially at like level 1 or 2 or 3. It's not plausible, especially for Fiddlesticks. He would have to get Fear at level 2 or 3. And even then, I don't think that would be all that great. Lee Sin coming around top looking to pick up the early gank on Italy. Hits her with the Tempest, but she flashes out. Manages to avoid that. That is a burn summoner, though. And that's kind of a big deal. Laying down the Bushwhack to try and protect herself from any loot rounds. Yeah. Which and is... it clips him. Smart play by Nidalee. Yeah, she just needs to keep that. Uh, keep either this bottom bush, something in the river, or something in tri bush to just provide that extra bit of protection, just overall protection. Got fiddlesticks coming up from the bush looking for. He's only level 2. Another... He does have a fear though. He right? does have fear. He's going for the level 2. He saw Lee Sin coming in. He picks up the fear on him, hits him with the great ignite coming down from Nidalee. Is she going to get the last attack? Her own flash is down. She yes. does. Yeah, at least it's in. coming in with double buffs. That could be dangerous But he for does her. get hit by the fear. She's hiding in the creeps, trying to tank out. But it does not work. Red buff picks him up. Middle sticks. Flash into drain. Lisa in flashing away. Staying alive. Counter flash. He did have safeguard up almost immediately, though. So I don't even know if the flash is really necessary. I think he could have just safeguarded um, but he might have just panicked a little bit. Entirely possible. Now, I like what Fiddlesticks did with regards to that, is he saw that Lee Sin was leaving because of the trap, and he also saw that he had the red, but went for the early gank. Knew instantly that his own red was gone, so rather than wasting time going to jump to check, oh, a lot he went back for him. Yeah, that was he went back a really top. smart play. It was definitely a smart play by him. Uh, just knowing, just being aware of what Lee Sin and Especially Blitzcrank, they're almost guaranteed to counter him over the level or try to invade. Oh, great oh, grab coming up Blitzcrank nice with by the power of this. Gets the pop up, ignites down on the terrace, but Corky oh, no. eats the stun and the ignite from Ezreal. Ezreal's going hard in the paint, he wants to pick up the kill. He's got the auto attacks going down, Blitzcrank is low. Oh, summoner heal coming out. And Blitz barely makes it out alive. Yeah. 
luckily he made it to that creep wave, so it wasn't really anything that Ezreal can do, especially with all of his spells down. Mm -hmm. uh, except for... Uh, he didn't even have Arcane Shift. I don't even know if he did he use... Yeah, he already used I Flash. I think he Arcane Shifted to chase yeah, after exactly. the Blitz because he used the Flash to get away from that initial skirmish that we came in at the end of earlier. Yeah, exactly. So all he had was this you know, which is really not going to be all that great when you're <laughs> surrounded by minions. Now, Fiddlesticks might be coming in for a lane gig. I don't know... Sneaking up through the brush. Jace does not know. He gets hit by the fear. He has to run away along through the creek in that direction. He's gonna have the move speed buff from switching stances on his in hammer the acceleration gun. Gate. Yeah. So he does get out, but he is fresh out of healing potions. He's got one burning up right now. It's almost out. Yeah, that's gonna be really dangerous for him, but he's just so slippery. He's a really slippery champion. Mm -hmm. uh, he needs to make sure to hammer smash face right to that fiddle six once he starts his drain. And then yeah. that's gonna provide a lot less pressure on him whenever Fiddle tries to gank. Uh, but if it'll really just levels up that fear to max, which doesn't quite look like he's doing yet. Doing um, the drain for purposes of actual jungle. Yeah, well, a lot of people have been doing the dark wind now that it actually does extra damage to creeps and stuff. Which is interesting. I, I tried juggling with Fiddle 6 recently, and I tried doing just dark wind instead of drain. It did not work out. He's still really, really squishy, so it's... A uh, very dangerous thing to do, but it definitely helps out to just get that one level in it. But I still really like it for. Oh, Terry, like other great grab through the face. It's completely blind, no real setup, but Terry doesn't have any boots just yet, so it's a lot harder for him to dodge. Yeah. He does have that Philo so he's going to be able to spam the heal on Ezreal and himself if he needs to. We have Lee Sin sitting in the brush right there. Red Team does not actually have any ward, and Blitzcrank is going to feel a lot more confident about going for something ballsy because he has to use the main guard. Lee Sin comes in, he picks up the Resonation Strike on the pair, he's going to go straight for him. Oh, nice oh. grab from Blitzcrank, pulling Ezreal back. Right now, Orky's tanking the tower, but Lee Sin's doing the damage. He's going to end up picking up the kill. Is Will he go down? down? He yes. does go down, and Fiddlesticks. Moving around from the back, picking up Corgi. A two for two exchange, leaving both carries dead. Oh, a nice cleanse coming out. Uh, I didn't actually notice that he had cleanse until like just then, but now he's still just getting destroyed by the minions. Minions do a lot of damage early game, it's really deceptive because you're like, oh, 20 damage, that's not a lot, but then again, when there's six of them hitting you for 20 damage and you only have a thousand health, it's very detrimental to your <laughs> health pool, especially when you're ignited. It's hard right to there. calculate all Kale that. Kale cleansed out of the ultimate, walked away, and stayed out of the blast zone, but then underestimated Galio's damage and still, still playing it a little ballsy. Galio doesn't have much mana, and his ignite is down, so a random shot from him there with him. <laughs> Trying to predict where Kale was going, but didn't quite go through. Blitzcrank barely missing the grab, is a little bit out of range. Uh, it was very risky, but uh, just showing his presence is going to force Galio to go back. Have Corky doing a little bit of damage, and this tiny little skirmish, Fiddle coming down from he the He is level game. 6, this could be really bad. He has his flash up too. Um, question is going to be if they change CCs properly, and Pro Scroll coming in. He gets the fear down on the Corky. Barrett gets the stun right through the Valkyries. It's off the it takes the drain. Nice pull from the Strang, going to drag Tarek off of his carry. Ezreal is struggling through. He wants that kill. <laughs> He's attacking from the back. Just barely outside range of the tower right now, but here comes out from Fiddle Sticks. Ignite, Dark Wind, gonna drop them. Oh no, it's simultaneous gang up top, safeguard from Lee Sin, trying to sunk up power damage. Can Jace do enough damage? It doesn't oh. look like he can, but he doesn't care. Acceleration Gate coming out, he's trying to keep up with the Nidalee Pounces. He's gonna abandon that. <laughs> yeah, now that they know that Lee Sin is top, they're gonna have absolutely no problems taking this dragon. There's no worries about uh, anybody testing it or even trying to steal it with a smite. And that right there, Fiddle sticks with a blue the and his drain. Pretty much able to tank the dragon no matter what health he's at. He doesn't have to worry about ever getting picked up. We see jumping onto Nidalee. Red buff almost picks her up after he hits her with his ultimate. She's gonna hop away as she does. <laughs> that was a great deal from her and just really clutching it out at the end. I think the red buff probably I don't know, it would have been really close. She would have been either really low or dead. 
get out of that. I think he got deal. the dragon kick into that really fast auto attack immediately after, so she had at least one more tick of red buff on her. So it yeah. was indeed the heal that saved her. On the downside, as a result of all that fighting and scrapping, there's going to be some lost experience and gold from that top creep way making damage to the tower. Fiddlesticks is going to try and salvage it, but... Go oh, Fiddlesticks! It's still lost money, and right now Nidalee is down 54 to 68. She has a kill up, but Jace does have an assist. And red team right now. 1.3k gold lead. Nice grab from the right here. She's going to look around the game. There, he's going to switch his focus to Ezreal and he starts getting... Er, switches focus to Corky, <laughs> and he starts getting bursted down by Ezreal. He does indeed get picked up. And right now, Ezreal's Ezreal... Ezreal's going in the paint on this Blitzcrank <laughs> for sure. <laughs> He does more damage than Blitzcrank, that is true. Just a little bit. It's his build, he's got a Brutalizer for early game damage, which is a little counterintuitive because he's maxing his W, but you know what? Damage is damage. Armor pen yeah. is armor pen, and that's gonna do guys nicely to prepare and shatter. That might be why he's doing it, though, because he's leveling his W, so he wants the damage from his Q to still be significant instead of being a, a strictly a farming tool at that point. And it uh, does give him a little cooldown reduction, which is useful yeah. to keep rocking the passive from his Q that lets him refresh cooldowns with other abilities. Exactly. So. Also give him the normal attack speed. <laughs> Expand that and get that up a lot faster in those early team fights. So I don't know if Red Team's actually targeting towards mid-game, trying to win in mid-game. Uh, it's possible. Oh man, Lee Sin, this is going to be really dangerous. The Arcane Shift is going to be able to come out really easily. He does manage to time the arcane shift around the grab so that even though the boxing glove latches onto the back of his face, he flies away nonetheless. Yeah, and that's why Ezreal is picked so frequently, is because Blitzcrank has been also extremely popular. And it's Ezreal's, I think, the only champion that can actually get out of that grab once it connects. Uh, also it's still seen stunts some wonkiness from Tristana's rocket jump, letting her invade <laughs> it, but that's just how she is. Yeah, Tristan's rocket jump is weird. He's going in hard on Nidalee. He's not afraid to trade with her, which I find pretty interesting considering she's the one with the heal. But he does have the vamp scepter, so he's able to heal pretty decently off those minions. We miss a crow storm gank on bottom. We're we did not miss slightly. it. We're gonna see it. Fiddlesticks just hanging out up there in the tri brush. Knows that they're pretty aggressive. Morton just eats it all. It's a oh, Gets hit by the Dazzle, the Shatter, the Fear, and the Silence. No way to use any of his escape mechanisms, and he just yeah. gets blown the F off. Yeah, and even with the Radiance there, that was even more. Probably overkill. Ezreal tried to throw out his ultimate to get an assist or the kill, um, but it's still quickly. Got some, I blame him. Little scrapping going down. Kale doesn't quite react fast enough to get away from all of the damage of Galio's ultimate and Fiddlesticks looping up behind him. He gets hit by Galio's slow. He throws the reckoning down on him, trying to avoid it. Fiddlesticks splash. Is he going to connect with any spells? You see the cast from oh. the fear start, but it doesn't finish. And Lee Sin goes leaping over the wall. But Fiddlesticks brings on to the brain tanking ability. And he's just he's just laying down the damage. Kale with a really nice ultimate. Letting Lee Sin be invincible, oh, and he crawls away with less than 20 health. An Man. exciting skirmish that ended up with nothing technically happening. <laughs> Except for a lot of flashes. Yeah, I, was, I thought I was crazy when I saw the fear animation. I was like, oh, he got the fear, he's going to get the kill, and then it didn't fear. I don't know how she broke line of sight, because he was in the bush as well, but he must have been like right here, and she was in here. Mm -hmm. uh, it was very, very weird, but uh, it does happen from time to time. Issues with the door. Oh, and another Shatter Radiance combo coming out from Terra. Doing a lot of damage. Absolutely blowing up that Corky. Not even gonna have. Oh, crap. Nice attempt by Blitzcrank to get the grab. He knew Lee Sin was coming back behind the lane, wanted to stall them. The tower wouldn't have gone for them immediately since there were one or two creep shots left in the Oh, but Blitzcrank overdrive to pop up. Lee Sin diving onto Ezreal. Hits him with the Tempest and Triple. Oh, Ezreal Lee getting the flash right. away, but Lee Sin dragon kicks Terrick back in, trying to help the quick train himself get the kill. He's still going in there, but Ezreal's doing way too much damage, and he's got the heal from Terrick. A nice W green from Ezreal, and he's going to attack both, both of them. And now we have all four members that aren't Nidalee. <laughs> Nidalee doesn't participate in team fights. Uh, Let's just get that straight right now. <laughs> she stays in top lane until top lane's gone. <laughs> 
stop playing 100% good. We're seeing more hard aggression. He does a lot of damage. And right there, Nidalee healed in the middle of this interaction, which meant that he did damage afterwards. But she is using her Kruger form to pretty good effect. She's got the Ignite down on him. They end up backing away. A lot of the 1v1 skirmishes in this game, it is important to know. If your character can't straight up blow them up from full to nothing, then you really do have to make sure you poke and poke. And even if you use the Ignite to get them down to one-third health, that can secure the kill later. So. Yeah, definitely. Uh, the good thing about Jace is, though, is that all of his spells are extremely spammy. And uh, he can get in there and he can just do like a third of somebody's health with one combo and then just do that three times. So the unfortunate thing is that Nidalee has that heal. She has that cougar form to get away a little bit, uh, but still the two disguise and the heavy match is Shock Blast hitting a minion instead. It's barely with me. Yeah. He's really going to be able to use that for farming uh, later on. He does have five levels. Of he hasn't even gotten his hypercharge yet, uh, which is pretty standard among Jaces that I've uh, seen so far. They will get the uh, they'll get the accelerator to get that shock blast and just use that combo. Absolutely yeah, right. Lee Sin coming up from the river, but Lily's got that advanced ward right at the entrance of the jungle. She knows Lee Sin's got mobility and that she needs to keep an eye out for him. And we have another fiddlesticks How is there another cake? one? There's always a fiddlesticks cake. That fiddlesticks <laughs> is everywhere, man. Blitzcrank and Corky are really lucky to be aggressive. He gets the hook on the And then he realizes Fiddle is kept too late. And Blitzcrank gets too alive by yeah. the Tarek, Tezreal, Fiddle combo. And that's just in time to pick up a dragon with Lee Sin up the top half of the map. Grabbing his wall. They aren't worth quite as much as the dragon. Has slain the dragon. We're that's going see. to be another big boost. To red team's capability. Yeah, and they have five people in hand, which is pretty huge right now. Uh, but now we have a, a skirmish going on. Oh, really 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 Flash into ultimate for Galio. Merc treads, throws chase, and he's in a little safer. He's doing a lot of damage to that fiddle stick. The combo of Merc treads and Gale's ultimate, keeping him alive pretty nicely. She switches target onto Nidalee. Does she get the kill? He's only got a little damage to do, but she chooses to back up. She's switching focus to Galio. Nidalee's hesitant to go in. Yeah, she threw out that Reckoning like the animation went off, but Nidalee was really good at getting in the Fog of War. And, and holy cow. They're just dancing back and forth. Kale doesn't afraid of anything. She picks up the kill with Reckoning and the Righteous Fury. She's going in hard to try and pick up Nidalee, but some nice brush jukes along with her Cougar Form ability is going to pick up Kale. Intense. And Blitzcrank is dead again. <laughs> Of course. Poor guy. Yeah. Poor robot. He's the saddest robot. He's sadder than the robot. Yeah, he's... One of the downsides to playing a role like Blitzcrank is that you feel like it's your job to initiate, to start aggression, to win, but you can't do that if the other team has someone like Tarek. Or Tarek Ezreal is a fantastic counter to Blitzcrank plus anybody because oh, yeah. if he pulls Tarek, Tarek gets the stun. If he pulls Ezreal, Ezreal Arcane shifts out. And on top of that, their burst potential at this part of the game is so massive. Exactly. Especially with that Radiance just giving the aura of AD and AP. And Ezreal scales uh, relatively well from both, so it makes it just that much better. Oh, oh, nice oh, ultimate from Ezreal right after the Peter Dazzle combo. Blitzcrank eats the exhaust, gets finished off by the drain, and that was an excellently placed ultimate by Ezreal. He was really far away. He got to keep farming and pick up an assist. Pretty nice. Can't really give him a third man, unless he got the kill. But uh, getting rid of that mana barrier is definitely a very important thing to do. Uh, just because he, he gets deceptively sneaky once that pops, because you never really know. So you don't pay attention to their mana bar as much as you do the health bar. Health bar has those lines to kind of separate it, but it just doesn't do quite a big great job. Just flash over that wall with the Q. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even know Lee Sin was that low, but he was and he dropped. Yeah. So, well done, Ezreal. Ezreal 7, 1, and 5. A man immune, Sword of the Occult, and Brutalizer. What a goofy lad he is. But he's hitting hard. Oh my gosh, he is exhausted, but Tarek is tanky power. Tarek is tanky as heck. Red buff and auto attacks from Ezreal are going to pick up what's cranked in. And Scales is going to be around to off. Wow, the Fiddlesticks Pro Storm comes in. Massive burst coming down from Ezreal. He's going to get shut down. 600 gold bonus for Kale. She's going into the bush, chasing after the Tarek. 
hits herself with the ultimate just in time to dodge most of the aggression. But she's eating a fear into another drain. That fed fiddlesticks. Six, <laughs> one, and three. He is also pretty darn strong. Yeah, and he already has a rod of ages at 19 minutes with that kid just like you pick. He's and actually, that's uh, that's really impressive for a jungler to get that much gold in that amount of time. He's, he's actually had it for a while. He's just been running around. I think if you check yeah. his gold, we're going to see he's got a lot in the bank right now. Yeah, he is. You know, he can get means to our draw if he really wanted to. Start Just working on his crazy. Yeah, exactly, and that's what he really wants. Once he gets in that team fight, he can just pro storm in and then just pop that Zonius and really just disrupt the entire team fight. Uh, it also certainly doesn't help that Blue Team has a lot of physical in the form of Jace, Corky, Blitz, Lee Sin. Exactly, so that armor is really going to help him be more tanky, as as if Drain Tank wasn't enough. Uh, but we'll see what he ends up getting. He actually decides to go with the Mejai Soul Stealer. Uh, another interesting thing coming out from the red team, but that Frozen Heart from Tarek is... Oh my gosh, that is... He is so aura impacting right now, he's going to reduce everybody's armor, reduce everybody's attack speed. It's not going to be allies. good. Yeah, and buff his allies too, and that's just not gonna be good times for the blue team if they really want to initiate hard they can't really do it unless they can pick off terror to get him at least a half health before they initiate or else he's just gonna be way too strong he has 253 armor uh so the only real chance is gonna be uh Mikhail. and she's actually building ad so oh nice timing in the ultimate and the flash mm -hmm. out of there Eric going hard, he does not care. He's stuck in the middle of all five of them. He's wondering right now where his teammates went. <laughs> Why didn't you jump over the wall? <laughs> and Blitz Train trying to land the pole onto Galio might not be the best choice of targets to take the action this way. But we have Fiddle Sticks. He gets caught by Lee Sin, but it turns out Lee Sin might not actually be in the best spot diving on the Fiddle Sticks either. Galio's coming up to the fourth. This is a good <laughs> fight. And the pull on to Galio. The worst right. person you want to pull on the team. Oh, the guy is a good Yes, the flash. Oh my gosh, he's at is nine he health. He's able to be able to. Does have a rocket? Oh, he does. That There's nowhere for Fiddle rocket. to run. Fiddlesticks gets picked up. Italy killing Hale. Uniting Lee Sin. Going into double kill. Galio supporting. Galio trying to chase down Jake. Almost there, but not quite. Oh, the spear through the wall! Wow, that was like a max range. Wow, Ezreal leaping over the wall, picking him up from the back. And no help, dropping to Nidalee. Quadra for Nidalee. They just increased the time range. Yeah, from 8 to 10 seconds, and that was probably exactly what she needed for that quad kill. <laughs> and that was awesome. I I don't think you really even get any extra gold off of it getting a killing spree like that, but... You don't, but it's really nice for everyone to know just how baller you are. That's true. Sometimes this does swag. Has been destroyed. Uh, Fact. <laughs> Fact. Swag. Better than everything. <laughs> so it's a shame. Off of situations like that, there are sometimes opportunities where if they push a little too far and the trade is pretty close, you sometimes see quick counter objectives being taken. Oh, they're respawning. Let's go over the wall, grab dragon, and then go blink back over the wall in case Lee Sin and Corky. Yeah. But unfortunately, Corky, Jace, they they weren't up, so a lot of the DPS for any kind of counter push wasn't there. And now oh, Red Team terrible. Red Team's able to take their gold advantage, convert it into items, and be back in time to start fighting over objectives once again. Yeah, and this is not gonna be good. Fiddle six is still soloing so so like the dragon. It took him a while, but he got it, and he's still at full health, so it doesn't really matter. Feels like he's one of the better uh, junglers at just kind of soloing uh, any type of neutral monster with still being safe. A little skirmish shaping up down or up in top lane. He's trying to get caught behind enemy lines, but it turns out the Tarek is the one being caught in a century. He gets Dragon Rage into the wall. Pop up from Blitz Crank is getting too alive, but he's deceptively tanky. He lived, yeah, he lived for a really long time. A really long time. But they're all AD, and like I said, he has 250 armor right now, and that's an insane amount. Italy's exceptionally tanky as well with that first part. Galio's gonna try hunting down Lee Sin and manages to pick it up. Really no, right. Nice Galio, oh, gonna save Italy. She oh, leaves it in the lightning. Great job by Blitzcrank being able to time that perfectly. I don't know if it was 
planned, but it was planned. And uh, this skirmish is gonna come down to the wire. It's a three for three. Yeah. Perfect trade. Eight four. Well, Corky died down in <laughs> mid lane to. It doesn't count. To Ezreal and I guess I guess it would have been Fiddle Six. Yeah. So. Uh, Fiddle Six finally picking up some stacks, which is nice because he really needs them. He's also uh, he's got, got a Leviathan now. He does have a Leviathan. Gotta now. get that. Gotta get that help. I don't know if he's gonna go for the Sword or the Occult next, but uh, Ezreal already has that. He has eight stacks on it, so that's gonna give him quite a bit of damage. And he's got a Cutlass, so I guess he's working on a Gunblade. Yes. They are extremely far ahead right now, over 12k gold ahead. Very weird builds coming out. You don't typically see this at this high elo. But then again, you don't normally see a Dyrus train in 2400 elo either. I don't know if you saw that. A Dyrus train? Yes. I missed it. Yeah, they're both teams were just following each other around the map, just like not attacking each other. Dyrus was a leader and he was just <laughs> going all throughout the map. Uh, they were like, 10 man Baron, let's get it! And then they all just like fought Baron and they didn't fight each other, but it was pretty amazing. And then they all dove into like the enemy team's fountain. Oh, and yeah, there, around behind the tank, this is the dab boss. Oh, oh, wow. person and exhaust going down and the robot is leading the way with 9 deaths for the blue team. That is more stacks. This is not, not good for the blue team. I don't know if the blue team has given up quite yet, though. We'll have to see. They're really doing phenomenal though. Just that the Frozen Metal with the Zeke's Herald combo is really good, but he's still losing the exchange. He's a pretty nice attempt to get away from the loose spin. Excellent flash, and he's that last power shot, man. It is a huge jump so the wall, too. And while Lee, Jin, and Jace are trying to mess with her, <laughs> They lose, they lose mid tower. Did they lose the inhib? I missed that. Yes, they did. They lose lost the inhib. The inhib. Uh, so while they were messing around with a stupid cat, they lost the inhib. And, and that's the downside of cats on the internet. And that's what she do. That's how Nidalee rolls. She sits in top lane, and she pushes, and she pushes, and she dances around, and she's impossible to catch. So you have to send two, maybe three people. Oh, we have a very early pro score on the day's from Middle six. The tower's down, but he gets the fear, starts draining. Terran moving behind, line of sight with the big winning with the dazzle. He's going to explode and scut back Nidalee with the long range spear. Picks up the kill. That was a good spear. He was so low, but that spear would have killed him regardless, even if she was right next to him. But it was like a max range spear, so it was perfectly timed. We've put six sitting in the middle of everybody. Dying, got pulled by Blitzcrank yes. as he wandered into the lizard brush. So, nice little pickup for blue team. Yeah, Gonna really cut down those that. scary, scary Leviathan stacks. As well as the Soul Steelers. Right stacks. there, Kale wandering <laughs> by Ezreal Ult, getting chased down. The middle of the Mallet is helping so much. The train. The train cannot get away. He gets the ultimate from Kale. He's gonna pick it up. He gets the ball on Ezreal. Ezreal's a pretty low health. He's still alive by Corky. Corky's trying to murder the Nidalee, but he's not picking up the from the back, safeguards on the ward while his ally is dying beneath him. Nidalee starts trying to hunt down Lee Sin through her own jungle, and he starts recalling in place, <laughs> and then he dies. I'm pretty sure he knew that that was coming. <laughs> Not a lot uh, but in do. the meantime, Jace actually picks up that Terra. Terra looks like he stayed a little bit too long just trying to push her away, get some farm, uh, and Jace is, Jace is still incredibly tanky. He's actually doing a pretty good job. At, uh, doing what he needs to do. Almost every member has a Bloodthirster on the blue team now. I uh, don't know if they just have a Bloodthirster thing going on, if they have a theme, like the red team has the stack theme and the aura theme, um, but I'm pretty sure that the red team has a stronger uh, stronger build overall, plus the extra 15,000 gold that they have is just absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, we're talking about auras. Italy just picked up the Randman's Omen. It's gonna make her even tankier. Fiddlesticks finds out he cannot actually solo Baron right now. Because he popped him up. He does the beat. downside of Baron, but they probably put that in just for Fiddlesticks. <laughs> That's entirely possible. <laughs> you never know, but he was one of the first champions. Not one of the first, but he's one of the original, I think, from beta. They've done a lot of changes to Baron to make him uh, a little less susceptible to certain cheeses. Yeah. Putting I, him in the center so he can't be killed over the wall by Purple Team. I like that, though, that they were able to do that. Uh, they were able to do it from the backside because Blue Team right now, they just have such a huge advantage by taking uh, the gold from the bottom lane to get that early level. Um, they have an open part of the Baron that they can kind of run away from safely into their jungle. 
Um, but it's just not the same with the red team, and that's why you see that advantage. Top lane, Jace is trying to play the new Nimoy role. He runs into every CC in the game, <laughs> and he gets chewed up. Every single champion, all 106 of them. Two last Pokemon. Middle sticks with a blind throw storm, decides to start soloing there, and then goes back and has a surprise party. And oh, this actually Ezreal finally dying. Yeah. <laughs> finally dying again. <laughs> <laughs> they did need to kill him again, finally. He's, and he's been picking up stacks. He's got a gunblade, a rage blade, a manager, and a sword blade called the brutalizer. It's a pretty goofy build. He has a lot of blades for not actually being a Wow, and that was a wonderful resolution fight going down on three of them. Uh, it's Snyder. Eric, you can see all of his randuits opens. All of the opens. <laughs> And the Corky is hard to get him to live. Corky was immune by Kale, so he didn't die. Oh, Tarek, right in the base. He's trying to hunt down the elusive Corky. Doesn't manage to pick him up. At least Sin in King. extreme Hit danger. It. He's gonna get eaten by the Cougar, Panther, Cat, Witch Cat thing. But yeah, that was a really good Dragon King. He actually kicked him into the other two members of the red team, so he almost had a way to get out of there. He also dropped the board into that rush to safeguard to it, but he didn't get it out in time. Yeah. And it's Which very, always disappointing. It's very unfortunate. Corky had the chance to kill Terrence before getting away, but the Kale also coincided perfectly with Fiddlestick's Spear, which left him running around in little invisible circles, not able to do anything. Yeah. Uh, but the CS difference is absolutely monstrous. Uh, when you take a look at the 80 carries, it's like a 50 CS difference, and that is huge. And plus, he has four more kills. I mean, it's not as much as you would think since Ezreal's been killing everybody, but Corky is like the only one that's picked up kills on the other team as well. He's got little sticks, drain tanking, and he also has a thorn nail. So we're seeing Jace killing himself, doing more damage to himself than Fiddlesticks at this point. Throws down the ignite, Fiddlesticks has to burn flesh to get away. He got a little cocky, but those hammer swings breaking the drain really gives the edge to Jace in those head-to-head oh, yeah. fights. But Ezreal is looping around behind him. Fiddlesticks goes in, hits him with the fear silence. He's gonna start the drain. And Jace gets knocked away, and Ezreal wants to hunt him down. Can he catch him? Did you start catch up? I don't think, yeah, the acceleration gets too strong, but he loops around. Is he gonna get the fear off in time? Yes, yes he, he will. The fear starts the drain, Ezreal pushes him off. And of course, come back Ezreal, stealing the kills. And up in top lane, we have Tarek and Lee Sin having a little flat fight. Lee Sin is actually running away from Tarek. They're actually doing nothing. They're they are doing nothing. <laughs> Welcome to High Elo. <laughs> They're bros, they just want to bro it out. And actually, Tarek is trying to race into the base. Triple ties with Randuin though, but there's yeah. a fight going down the bottom half of the map, but we don't care about that. I want to watch the race. I want to watch the race too. Oh no, Stun It looks like Tarek wins. No, Tarek All does not win. Pain. He does. Tarek manages to make it to his base before Lee Sin does, and the minions pick oh. him up. Poor Tarek. Good work. Fight down the bottom before we care about. <laughs> and the middle six with the party. Oh boy! <laughs> the heal from Blitzcrank trying to tank it out since it's hurt. But no dice. Definitely not going to be enough. This is going to be every inhibitor I'm down. I'm surprised the there wasn't a surrender mode. I don't know if the red team is going to troll a little bit more and just kind of recall. <laughs> That's a little bit of trolling right there. Triple <laughs> 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 sticks making party noises. Moving around, playing with his food. As well, coming around, coming back. Ace getting melted for a second ace. While the entire team is still dead. Will there be a third one? That is the real question. That's what matters. Getting as many aces as possible in a row while team members are still dead. Lisa is trying to evacuate. He falls in this place, presumably the type. He's too afraid to move. Uh -oh. Gets the Kale ultimate. Fuck Kale is still using it on now. I obviously cares about the outcome of this game. <laughs> Which you grab by the strength. Could have turned everything around. Could have turned the whole game around. That's going to be it. Red Team takes it. Very good to fast. Yes. Uh, they did have a very early lead. They were just able to keep it and go and roll with it. They got counter jungled early, which was a great start for the blue team, but uh, Fiddle was aware of it and really just didn't care. He's like, what's a red buff? I don't need a red buff. I don't auto attack. I just drain people for death. Yeah, definitely want to point out 
something that the Blitz Crank is doing is he's an initiator. He wants to grab people, wants to pop them up in the air, he wants to have his carry melt and feed his carry. Yeah. But if you are behind and you're an initiator type like that, it's entirely possible that by getting a grab, you're, you're killing your team. <laughs> yeah, you are doing your team no favors. Exactly. And Especially when he was grabbing uh, Galio. That was a really. Uh, I mean, yeah, it was a kind of a juke from one member to the other member of the he's team. He's going for the Nidalee, I think. <laughs> yeah. Ended up netting the Galio. Got him and an ally ulted. It's like grabbing a Moomoo. It's like grabbing Vlad. Like, you don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah. It happens. It's unfortunate, but it's a great counter pick. Like, they basically picked around the Blitzcrank. They're like, oh, they have Blitzcrank. Let's pick Fiddlestick. So Fiddlestick's ult. And Blitzcrank grabs, they're going to have a bad day. <laughs> uh, they can't grab Nidalee, or it'd be impressive if they grab Nidalee, I guess you could say. Well, she's she's in cougar skinny. form. She's very mobile. She is very skinny. She's voluptuous, though. Very. So we could just cop feel a little bit. We also uh, Tarek is fabulous. So if you grab him, you're probably not going to have a good day. Can we check his stats even post-game? We cannot. We're talking about stats. Like, just uh, his character. I just want to see how much armor he had between the Randuins and the Frozen Heart. Right now, it's only letting us see as reels. That's a shame. Go back. I don't think it'll let us. Go back. That's a shame. Oh, that was like they used to. Oh, that's pretty cool. Who is it, Tarek? Yeah, Tarek. Sitting on 341 armor. That is a ridiculous Against of a armor. team that is... <laughs> All AD, <laughs> literally. It's got a tiny bit of hybrid thrown in there. But yeah, the majority <laughs> of it, AD. Yeah, just his auras alone are going to be absolutely ridiculous. Plus, the throwing the Frozen Heart and the Randuins, it's, there's no way that blue team even stood a chance. And that's the difference between a lot of the high elo games versus the low elo games. That if a team primarily gets one type of damage, you have to build around it. And a lot of people don't realize that. They just have that one build that they stick to instead of building as a team around it. Because if you can get... A really nice aura item that shuts down 80 carries if they're 80 carries fed it's not gonna matter as much because you have something that kind of shuts them down yeah you pick up frozen heart and randuins against Vayne, and suddenly she's attacking uh once every three seconds <laughs> exactly rocking them silver bolts it'll take her about two minutes to kill you at that rate yeah so anyhow good job to the red team yeah congratulations to the red team congratulations gg to the blue team for winning in style or losing in style, but winning in style and losing in the game. I'm not 100% sure what they did. Yeah, I mean, They had a lot of bloodthirsters. They did. That's about it. They were the thirstiest, Anyhow. but they just didn't succeed. GG. But yeah, if you guys if you guys like the videos, make sure you do click that subscribe button in the middle of your screen. If you want to see any previous videos or future videos that I post, you can always click on those buttons. And uh, make sure to comment or send me a message for any requests that you may have of champions or players that you want to see. Uh, because that will enable you to uh, win an RP card or skins once I do giveaways. Uh, so I do giveaways every once in a while, typically when I just hit like a milestone that I set up for myself. So uh, keep an eye out for that. I do it probably, it's been about once a month almost, I think, at this point. Uh, but I will be going to the Season 2 Finals, and I'm going to be bugging all the riders for so many skins or like stealing a box of the skin cards <laughs> <laughs> am i eligible for giveaways <laughs> no why god you get nothing i'm the saddest you're, man you're moving to egypt you're fine <laughs> it's true there's All no right. internet in egypt anyway but yeah thanks for watching guys i'll see you later